From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. City workers in London are working around the clock to try to free the sewer of a clog caused by a giant, smelly, disgusting blob that weighs 143 tons. It's still not known, though, what Michael Moore was doing down there in the first place. Why admit you probably should change your diet when you can just be fabulous? Kmart – they're no longer calling larger sizes of women's clothing plus-sized. Yep, everything over the size of 12 will now be known as fabulously sized. In addition, they'll be making sure that they carry all sizes of all of its women's apparel lines. Kmart's chief marketing officer, Kelly Cook, said when we reached out to our members on social media, they told us we needed to have a better assortment and that we should call it something different. This decision was also heavily influenced by the fact that there is a solid trend on the market around diversity promotion and body positivity. Fabulously sized clothing accounts for 21% of Kmart women's sales, which makes sense when you consider that the average American woman is between a size 16 and 18. But this is Kmart, which is on the verge of disappearing, so you're only going to be fabulously sized for a short while. So take advantage of it while you can before you're forced to go back to Walmart and be plus-sized. Whether it's the result of a solid economy or simply generosity, the Tooth Fairy is slipping a lot of money under pillows in exchange for baby teeth. The nationwide average in 2016 was $4.66 per tooth, up 19 percent from the $3.91 she gave in 2015 and up a staggering 93 percent from the $2.42 she gave in 2012. That's the word from the annual Tooth Fairy poll of 1,588 parents nationwide conducted by Delta Dental, which points to the busy fairies as a barometer of the stock market's overall direction. Man, what a ripoff! When I was growing up, I only got a quarter for losing a tooth. I demand reparations! Forget nukes and sanctions. Former Navy SEAL and current author Jocko Willink has a different idea for bringing down North Korea's regime. He tweeted, drop 25 million iPhones on them and put satellites over them with free Wi-Fi. Well, this caught the attention of Business Insider, which floated it by an expert on North Korea at the Stimson Center, a think tank in D.C. The bottom line, it's not so crazy. This approach may be the longer route, but it has the hope of succeeding, says Yoon Sun. North Korea's leaders realize the peril of opening up its estimated 25 million citizens to the world, says Sun, pointing out that Pyongyang has responded militarily to much simpler balloon drops of pamphlets and DVDs from South Korea. He adds Kim Jong-un understands that as soon as society is open and North Korean people realize what they're missing, Kim's regime is unsustainable and it's going to be overthrown. Man, this is a great idea! Somebody should create a GoFundMe page for this! If you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social media to help get the word out. To become an official weirdo, click that subscribe button and click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be a part of the notification squad. While you're at it, click that like button to let the world know that you are an official weirdo. 